So during the 1993 NBA draft, an incredible trade was made that was very memorable. As the Orlando Magic, they drafted Chris Webber first overall and then traded the former Michigan Wolverine to the Golden State Warriors for Penny Hardaway, who was drafted third overall, and three first round picks as Golden State's 1996, 1998, and 2000 first round picks would go to Orlando along with Penny Hardaway for Chris Webber. So for this video, I don't wanna look at who won the trade, but I wanna talk about what happened with those three first round draft picks. Back in the day, I had a friend who was jokingly cheering for the Warriors to lose because he wanted to see Orlando break the NBA with Shaq and Penny and then have those high first round draft picks. Now in reality, the talented young duo, they only played for three seasons together in Orlando. But as for the Warriors, they had a lot of talent in the early 90s. But after the 93-94 NBA season, the Warriors, they had some really disappointing seasons. Hence, one may wonder, why didn't Orlando get a lot of talent with those high draft picks due to Golden State's poor records? So first, with the 1996 first round pick, the Orlando Magic of course had a great young core of players, but wanted to sign a veteran with championship experience and power forward Horace Grant, who was a really good defensive player who could rebound and shoot from the mid range. For the Magic to sign Horace Grant, they had to make room under the salary cap, so they traded point guard Scott Skiles. So at first, the trade it was reported as the Orlando Magic trading Scott Skiles for a 1996 first round draft pick to the Washington Bullets and in return, Orlando, they get a 96 second round pick and future considerations. So here's what the trade essentially became, according to Basketball Reference, as it's actually more difficult to comprehend than it looks because Todd Fowler and Vince Carter, they were actually drafted by Golden State. But for now, I want to try to keep this trade simple, as there's more to explain later on. But just understand that the 1996 first round pick from the Warriors with the Chris Webber trade would not belong to Orlando. Now, although the 1996 NBA draft was one of the best ever, I think it was a pretty good deal for Orlando to be able to get Horace Grant as that was what happened to the first of the three first round picks Orlando received from Golden State. There was some controversy with the Horace Grant contract, but nonetheless the Magic, they had a very reliable power forward playing with Shaq and Penny. Next, on to the 1998 NBA draft. So here's what you need to know. Due to the Scott Skiles trade, and then Chris Webber, he was traded to Washington for Tom Gugliotta and three first round picks in 96, 98, and 2000. As Webber, he wasn't happy in Golden State during his only season there. But anyways, with those two trades, here's what you need to know about the 1998 NBA Draft Lottery. Right here, I'm showing the records from the 1997-1998 NBA season. Washington, Golden State, and Orlando, they did not make the postseason and they were all in the draft lottery. Orlando and Washington, they just missed the playoffs. So Washington, they were not going to have a first round pick as that was either going to go to Golden State or Orlando. Here are the odds to land the first overall pick. The reason why Orlando had the third best odds, even though they just missed the playoffs, is because if Golden State's pick was in the top three, that would go to Orlando and Golden State would pick depending on Washington's draft lottery result. However, Golden State, they got lucky and ended up with the fifth selection for the 1998 NBA draft, which meant Orlando got Washington's pick at 13. And also, they had their own selection at 12, as this was all from those two trades I mentioned earlier. Now, if Orlando did get Golden State's pick in the top three, I wonder if they would have selected Dirk Nowitzki, Paul Pierce, or Vince Carter. But anyways, with Orlando's own pick, they selected center Michael Doliak at 12. But then with the pick they received from Washington via Golden State, they selected Keon Clark at 13. Now, with this Keon Clark selection, the NBA, they had a lockout to start the 1998-1999 season. They wound up trading Keon Clark before the season. That got Orlando a first round pick in 2000, and that wound up having the Magic select Keon Dooling. And then Dooling, he was traded on draft day to the Clippers for 2006 first round pick. Now, I don't wanna go that far, so let's take a look at those trades. The Keon Clark trade, it's on top, and the Keon Dooling trade, it's on the bottom. But essentially, the trade of Clark, it led to the selection of Dooling. And what's important to know is that this trade, sending Dooling and others to the Clippers, was vital in giving Orlando more salary cap room, which led to the magic to the major free agent signings of Tracy McGrady and Grant Hill. Now that duo, it didn't quite work out as Orlando would have hoped. 
mainly due to Hill's ankle injuries, but that 1998 pick from the Chris Webber Penny Hardaway trade, it wound up being key in terms of helping Orlando get under the salary cap to be able to sign two premier free agents in the summer of 2000. Lastly, for the 2000 NBA draft, the Magic, they actually wound up keeping that pick that they received from the Warriors. Now, the 2000 NBA draft wound up being one of the worst ever, but Orlando, they did make the most out of it, selecting Mike Miller fifth overall, who did become the Rookie of the Year and was a solid player for Orlando for two and a half seasons. So that's what happened with those picks from the Chris Webber, Penny Hardaway draft day trade in 1993. And the end result was basically Orlando being able to get under the salary cap to get Horace Grant and then sign two premier free agents in the summer of 2000. And then lastly, with that third first round pick, Orlando drafting Mike Miller. Thank you for watching this video, but I have one more item to finish this video with for the 1992-1993 NBA season, which was Shaquille O'Neal's rookie season. Orlando, they finished with the 41-41 and record, which was the same as the Indiana Pacers, but it was Indiana who earned the eighth seed in the East as Orlando was left out of the postseason and thus was in the NBA draft lottery. So Orlando, they basically had a 1 in 66 chance to win the 1993 NBA draft lottery. And Orlando was somehow lucky enough to be able to select first overall. And then for the 1993 NBA draft, now I wasn't able to watch it and what I missed at the time was NBA Commissioner David Stern's announcement of the Chris Webber, Anthony Penny Hardaway trade as the crowd's reaction was pretty incredible. So David Stern, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to report a trade. Orlando has traded the draft rights to Chris Weber to Golden State in exchange for the draft rights to Anthony Hardaway and in the years 1996, 1998, and 2000. I really enjoyed the crowd's boisterous reaction when Stern announced those draft picks going to Orlando. But that will do it. Thank you so much once again for your interest in this video. I really appreciate all the support. If you're interested, there is a link down below to support this channel with Patreon. Thank you so much. The 1993 Draft day trade with Chris Webber and Anthony Hardaway and what happened to those three first round picks that went to Orlando.